Hello, two guys. We're Sagittarius. <coughs> Today's for Sagittarius, and it says it is progressing well now. Two days or two weeks, something's getting ready to happen, or maybe you're born on December 2nd. It says today's so action. It says, are you right? Are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take life into your hands? and forge your own unique path. Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared, take the leap. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you're really made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. So you need to ask yourself, what am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? Whatever you're needing to do, Sagittarius, it's up to you to do it, not no one else, honey bunches. Because what it said when I pulled out of Egyptian puzzle time, it says, Sagittarius, you might be keeping up with the Joneses, J-O-N-E-S. And when you keep up with the Joneses in life, you're gonna feel like this. You're gonna feel L O N E A O Y Lonely. You can't keep up with people like that, you guys. Now this is hard to see, but this is And then I pull out actually it said Sagittarius. See? S A G G T A R I U S Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, you need to stop keeping up with the Joneses. That's why you're feeling lonely and you ain't never got no money. Have you figured out yet? I think this is saying your whole life, your life that you've li lived right now was built, B-U-L-T, built, built on being, and I used the U over there, but it's trying to say, This is all letters that pulled out. Built on being breadcrumb, C-R-M-B-D. So your whole relationship with this person was built on breadcrumb and you. That's, how, that's all they do is breadcrumb you. Why would you want that? That's not true love. That's not, or if that's a friendship, that's not a good friendship. If you're following a bunch of rich men or rich women around and you're a young Sagittarius, I would, I advise you to quit putting out, giving all your money away to these people, okay? Because you're never gonna have nothing and that's how they want you, you understand? So you need to learn to start saving up, Sagittarius, and, and get away from these people, these Joneses that make you feel lonely. And I pulled this out for you, Sagittarius. Yes, uh, last night, all this. But uh, hang on, let me put all these cards in a line the way they come out. I'll read these last. But what it's saying is, you need, this is the truth that I'm telling you. That's what Ace of, Ace of Spades, Ace of Swords means. So the truth is that you're a happy, happy person. But somebody's latched on to you, Sagittarius. And you need to clean it up with this person. You need to uh, be aware that they're trying to take your happy away. Do you understand? You're happy, they're, they're wanting you to clean it up, but the thing is, karma's coming to them. See all this karmic wheel, divine timing, maybe you put it in divine's hands. Because, this is like at seven of wands, uh, seven of diamonds here, you had to uh, always uh, defend yourself. You always have to defend yourself, they're acting like 
that uh, you did something and they're going around acting like the king of swords, you know, stoic, cold to you. They're being cold to you and not letting out their truth. That's what it means. I mean, it's got lilies on that card, but I know what king of swords means. I mean, you're a good, you're a good person, king of swords are, but they're very cold sometimes. And this person needs to clean it up. It's somebody that you live with, Sagittarius, or somebody that, somebody that they're wanting you to clean it up and you not be around your family and stuff. But they don't understand that you're happy around your family. You go around your family if you want to, Sagittarius. I love you, cause that's how you need to do. All right. And then here we got angel light come out for you. And this says spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. So don't worry, Sagittarius. You can come over here and I'll help you. Uh, balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to, creativ to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. So see, you're balancing out your masculine and feminine energies. So you'll have confidence to get the job done with these fucking people and get away from them. And then we have Amethyst. And this is revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. Tell them the real you, Sagittarius. That you want them to clean up their act and stop making you feel lonely and not being around the people that you love because you're just trying to go towards keeping up with the Joneses. Oh, no, that's not a good way. That's not a good way, Sagittarius. And this was the first card come out. They some dude around you, and they want they they want to ride on your coattails because they ain't got no damn sense or gumption about their self. And it's something about you was targeted by this group of people because they thought you could be bullied your entire life and not do nothing but take it, Sagittarius. And Spirit said, oh, hell, fuck no. Wrong. They ain't saw a strong woman or man like you. They're getting ready to see. They're getting ready to see how strong you are, though, Sagittarius. And you are a person that is emotionally dependent. They, and you don't rely on someone else to make you feel whole. You don't rely on somebody else to make you feel whole, man or woman. Someone is trying desperately to stop your messages from getting out in the public. This could be for me, Sagittarius, that message. But uh, it's someone in the law... Someone who is in the legal system, maybe a lawyer, cop, magistrate, etc. They're trying to keep your messages from going out to the public. And they do this on Wednesdays. On every Wednesday, they try to stop it, evidently. I don't know what that means, but it'll be something. They can't believe the changes that you went through, but they still feel like you personally done something to them and you didn't do nothing to these people. See? See how fucked up they are? They want to come and knock you out for telling all their secrets. That's all. That's why they hate you, because you, you told a secret. That's all. And people that get angry at readings of mine or other readers out here, they get triggered because it struck a truth that's inside of their heart that's needing to be healed. That's why you get mad at readings. Because it's truth in it. And you're, you, you quit being a man that is too complacent, stop doing that, or a woman that's too complacent, and stop listening to whoever this is that has control over them. You're letting somebody have control over you, Sagittarius, and it's, and it's wrong, and that that's a shady business deal gone wrong. Are you listening? Don't let them have control over your life. And uh, try to take me or a Divine Feminine down, and you'll see what happens to you and your family. You'll get cuffed, babe. You'll get cuffed, babe. That's a bad deal gone wrong to uh, say yes sir, yes ma'am to these people because they're mad at readings all because they want to come knock you out for telling their secrets but that's what they did to me. I don't get it. They can't believe change you went through. On Wednesday the legal system is going to try to stop you from putting your message out in the public because you're mercifully dependent and you're targeted by this group of people. And this dude don't have no damn gumption. They want to ride on your coattails. No. And they're trying to break in and steal from your older kids now. And the law has their eyes on these damn crooks too. So I know they're trying to break in from my son's house. And he is a Sagittarius. And ain't that something, Sagittarius? I love you. It's something that you need to know. Okay? Um...
Aang man. Um, maybe you're get, you had to be sacrificed. But you're going through a total metamorphosis. Others may not understand the need for sacrifice, but you see things differently as you walk this path along. This may be a time of indecision. But take time to breathe and internalize your choices before making any crucial decisions. Did you hear that, Sagittarius? Before you make a decision, think on it. Think on it. What else, Sagittarius? Yeah, think on it, because you might be getting a lot of burdens put on your back that you don't need there. You're almost there. You may have unconsciously or consciously taken on extra responsibilities, but you know that the blood, sweat, and tears you put in are about to pay off, Sagittarius. Don't, don't let other people's burdens be yours. That's their responsibility to do the hard work and get it completed. Are you listening? Seven of Pentacles. Keep persevering and do this diligently because you, you've got a lot of investments because you've, you've, you've done a lot of hard work. You understand the value of hard work and investing toward long-term goals. You're not interested in quick wins. It's telling you to look at the bigger picture. You may be frustrated that some things are taking too long to come to fruition, but your efforts will not go unrewarded, but you must remain patient. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So maybe you've invested in a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and and you did this shit diligently and you put in a lot of hard work and maybe they keep putting burdens on your back. That's what it is. You have financial strife. They're, they're trying to put you in financial strife. The Empress upside down. It's the Empress upside down, Tor, uh, Sagittarius. So maybe this is your person. They think they're an Empress, but they're upside down. But you may have lost strength over placing too much effort into the fires of others. Perhaps you're smothering someone with too much affection. It could also be that you're relying on others to care for you. Work on solving your problems and building self-confidence. Women, Empress women, that's attached to Sagittarius. Don't let them rely, you know, don't don't rely on the Sagittarius to do everything, people. I mean, you can't do that, ma'am, ma'am and sir. You need to master your own the skill development and work that way, you know. This is about your passions and standards. It, and this Eight of Pentacles may be telling you to chase after education, going back to school, take on a new sk uh, skill or something in that vein. Whatever it is that you're needing to do, if you work hard and master it, know that the dedication will pay off in the long run, okay? But you, they got to want it, Sagittarius, and that don't... That don't mean that they do, that they will. What else about, are they going to go after their dreams or not? Oh, it's going to be a challenge with it. It's going to be a challenge, and they're going to put you in a competition. So there might be Sagittarius, they might be talking to somebody else. That's what that competition means. Are you listening? Or talking about your business to someone else. And they might be a, another Aries, Leo, or Sag that they're blabbing to. They're wanting you to struggle on your journey, and you may have just reached an important milestone, but naysayers are trying to knock you back and cause you to prove, and, and is ca and or causing you to prove yourself. Hold your ground no matter what, because you know you've got this, and don't dare let any anyone else tell you otherwise. Don't let people tell you otherwise. You're up for a challenge. Good for you, baby. Good for you, Sam. Now, let me get you a romance. What a romance one. You deserve love, Sagittarius. Somebody that really loves you and wants you for who you are. The Empress in the upright. That's what you deserve, my Sagittarius I'm talking to. It's telling you retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Don't let people, places, and things bother you in your relationship. That's the only way to. It's the only way to fix it. But if you're lonely, they're not trying to fix it. And I'm sad that you're lonely right now, Sagittarius. Because yes, I pulled this out, and I believe it. They need to express their love to you. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. See, somebody's wanting to express their love to you. They're wanting to retreat with you and tell you how much they love you. Oh, look here, it's a new love. Wants to love you, baby, Sagittarius. 
a new person might be <coughs> a new person might have feelings for you around. Oh, it could be a past life relationship. You have known each other before. It feels like you've known each other before. <coughs> or this is coming for someone else in the future or something. Somebody that watches my channel. <coughs> but that's what I got for you guys today, Sagittarius. I'm sorry I didn't post it last week. But every reading that I got, I can't put it out because it was way too personal. So don't think, take everything to heart. I'm just trying to help you both. I'm trying to help you and your person, you and your person both. This is about confrontations. Quit being scared of confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. Somebody likes to fight around you. Are you listening? Somebody wants to fight all the time, and they need to learn to pick their battles fucking wisely when it comes to fighting. There's no need to fight all the time because you're going to be ended up without anybody if you keep doing that. Are you listening? Are you listening? I'm trying to teach you. Uh, something about dreams. Believe in your dreams. Whatever you, whatever you're wanting to uh, go towards, believe in that dream. Okay, Sagittarius. Maybe somebody is, com maybe somebody's trying to battle you in your dreams. Yep, intuition. Look how pretty that card is. You have a magical unicorn. Trust your intuition. It says trust your intuition. Believe in your dreams and pick your battles wisely. Oh, choices. Make the best choices. See, make the best choices in life. Okay, Sag. And I love you guys, and I hope this helps you today. And let me pull out one of these little... Clarity. This is what you need. Clarity. Take time to think about your situation to gain clarity. That's what you need to think of today, Sag. All right, you guys. Well, I love you, and I hope this message helped you today. Uh, remember, please like, subscribe, and share my video, Sagittarius. I love you, and... Please hit a little like and share if you like what I did. But remember to, to uh, that you're always going to feel lonely if you keep trying to keep up with these Joneses. If you was raised in a family that didn't keep up the Joneses, like I know my kids was, we didn't. No. And, and, and when you try, and you move around people, it, all they got to do is, is they buy vehicles, buy, buy, buy all the time. I don't like doing that. I can't afford to live like that. So stop keeping up with the Joneses. Because... You're being breadcrumbed by these people, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you are. It said your name. It said it pulled out Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So it's you're getting breadcrumbed by these people. They're not really giving a fuck. They're not wanting to give you clarity because they know that when they give you, if they give the real clarity, you wouldn't want their eyes. That's what it means. Do you understand? All right. Well, I love y'all in pieces and pieces, and I'll always be here for my boys. I love you guys, and I'll see you later, my guys and gals. I love you. Please hit subscribe if you watch it all this far. Bye.